Hello and welcome to another question. This question reads, one liter of TPN, that is total parental nutrition solution, is to contain 80 milli equivalents of sodium and 30 milli equivalents of acetate. Available stock solutions contain 4 milli equivalents per milliliter of sodium as sodium chloride and 2 milli equivalents per milliliter of sodium as acetate. How many milliliters of sodium chloride stock solution are needed? So this is an interesting question. And here we are supposed to supply two electrolytes, 80 milli equivalents of sodium and 30 milli equivalents of acetate. Now the way we are supplying these electrolytes is to use salts. And so you have a sodium chloride solution which has a concentration of 4 milli equivalents per milliliter of sodium and you have a sodium acetate solution which has a concentration of 2 milli equivalents per milliliter of sodium. So the question that arises typically is why do we have these two sources of sodium? And the answer to that is the sodium acetate solution is primarily going to be used as a source for the acetate. Um, but bear in mind that when you have sodium acetate, which is CH3COO and A, when you put that in an aqueous environment, it's going to dissociate into the acetate anion and the sodium cation. So what this means is anytime you supply the acetate, you're going to have some sodium accompanying the acetate. And the way it works is typically what will be done is you first figure out the volume of the acetate solution that is going to supply the 30 MEQ of the acetate. Okay. So how much of the sodium acetate solution is going to supply that? Now, what is implied in this statement, and you can be inferred from the stoichiometry, is that the concentration of the acetate also turns out to be 2 milli equivalents per milliliter. And so, because we are interested in supplying 30 milli equivalents, we can basically compute what that volume is going to be. So, if we solve for our unknown, we will have 1 milliliter times 30 milli equivalents and we will divide that by the 2 milli equivalents and that will give us 15 milliliters. Now, the 15 milliliters is not the answer to the question. This 15 milliliters simply tells us the volume of the sodium acetate solution that would supply the 30 milli equivalents of acetate that is required. But the reason it's important for us is we need to find out how much sodium accompanies this 15 ml so that we can account for that when we actually figure out what the volume of the sodium chloride solution is going to be. And so we are now interested in the amount of sodium accompanying, so let's just do accompanying acetate okay and for that we do know the concentration we already been told that two milli equivalents is present in one milliliter and so we can solve for this unknown let's call that y and then we have the 15 ml which we just computed and so we could say that um let's do that here so we can solve for y, y is going to be equal to basically 2 milli equivalents times the 15 milliliters divided by 1 ml. And so that basically should give us 30 milli equivalents. And this is for sodium, okay? Now, this once again is significant because all we want to do is at the end of the day have a total of 80 milli equivalents of sodium in our preparation. So we can exceed the 80 MEQ and we already supplied 30 milli equivalents of sodium when we gave the acetate. 
And so what that means is we are left with 50 milli equivalents of sodium. Okay? And we are now going to use the sodium chloride solution to do that. From there, the concentration is basically 4 milli equivalents in 1 milliliter. And we want to supply 50 milli equivalents. And so we will solve for our unknown. So we call that Z, and Z is going to be equal to um, 1 milliliter times the 50 milli equivalent divided by the 4 MEQ. And so if we do that correctly, Z should be equal to 12.5 milliliters. And that is the answer. Okay, 12.5. 5 ml is the answer to this particular question. So let's just capture the highlights of this question. The way it was phrased, um, once you're familiar with this type of problem, you really don't have to go through all the initial steps. But it's important to note that there is some sodium that would accompany the acetate once you supply it. And so knowing this 30 ml, 30 milli equivalents of sodium is what's important and then you can subtract that from the total to find the difference and then you use the concentration of the sodium chloride to basically solve for the rest so i hope this um, clarified the question made it a little bit more easier for you to do similar ones down the line and if you have any more questions just send me an email